A conservation professional is someone who has made a career out of their passion for land stewardship. It is someone who encourages the sharing of knowledge and scientific discovery. Someone who recognizes that natural resource conservation improves the welfare of all people. And each and every one of those qualities were exemplified in Mike Collins. Soil health was developing a bit in the 80s, but it was more in the 90s that it started to gain traction as a term. Uh, and, and I remember one of the first times that we decided to put it on a uh, heading of a flyer and actually come out and just say soil health. And uh, we were very uh, pleased on, on the uh, group that, that did come initially and, and uh, connected with the term right away because um, we think of our health and we understand that and, and soil health is a lot like that. With the soil health movement and, and Mike's work in North Dakota, he began to see these soils are changing, their, their function is changing actively. They're, they're very alive and there's more going on than we know how to describe yet. We have language for, descri for describing. With the help of Mike, we started to a bit more um, normalize uh, soil health, uh, I think as far as a term. And I think too as far as um, just getting it out to additional people. So when I met Mike, it was as an agronomist working uh, with farmers and here we got a new conservationist from NRCS who's telling us the wind blows in North Dakota too, and there's some people who have figured out how to keep less soil from blowing away on them. And why do you suppose it blows so much here? And, and have you heard about this thing called soil health? So often when we talk about soil health, we talk about policies and programs, practices and funding, and all those things are very important. But the most integral part to soil health are the people. My concern for families being able to stay on the farm, a concern for landscapes being able to stay intact and not become dried up or monocropped. Um, those are things that, that have led me towards this path of, of soil health. At the time I was the president of the Underground Water Conservation District, my first day, the first meeting we had, I had a picture of the San Luis Valley, a satellite photo of the topsoil blowing all the way to Kansas. And I handed that around to my board members and I said, this is our job and we have got to do something about this. And, and I felt like I had the courage to do that because Mike was, NRCS was there. That leveraging of having people, whether farmers or ranchers, consultants, extension agents, uh, that's how uh, we have built a lot of this soil health network. And we've worked with people all over the United States and with uh, very capable people all over the world. And so whenever we come up with a new idea or have a thought, we bounce it off this network of folks that we have, and that's how we're advancing soil health. You bring all those, you bring the best that, that there's out there, you piece it together like a very complex ecological puzzle, and you begin to uh, advance your science from that perspective. And that's how I came into it and, and uh, appreciated the work that Mike Collins did because uh, it was through him that I learned a lot about this other networks and how important it is to be in contact with, uh, with the best people on the ground. Each individual member of the Soil and Water Conservation Society is incredibly important to us. Each conservation professional makes their own impact and their own mark on our natural resources. But what is really exciting is what happens when we all come together as a community. And that's what the society seeks to do. We believe our greatest strength lies in uniting people with diverse backgrounds, experiences, and ideas to inspire leadership, collaboration, and innovation within the conservation community. One of his goals was that we can't do this alone as one group. This has to be, uh, this has to be connected throughout our society. And we have to, whether you're a consumer or a producer, conservationist, whatever your walk in life is, you had to have some understanding that here's where we're trying to move and that we needed to move collectively. And when you have somebody with, uh, that had Mike's abilities, I think that really gave us traction. Yeah, he just, I, he, he, his, um, 
I don't know, his general way of going about life just made everybody excited about soul health. And it, it really changed the dynamic of the community here. I, it really was a great, great thing to happen.